G'day everyone and welcome back to another video. As you may or may not know, I've been struggling to catch brim lately on the channel. So I've come out here today to a lake that I know can produce some pretty good brim in the right time of year. It's winter, not the right time of year, but we're gonna be trying our luck anyways. I've got two outfits with me today. One with a soft plastic, little yabby craw imitation, and one with a hard body, little atomic hards, crank 38. It's a really nice day today with a gentle breeze, super sunny, but I woke up, checked my fishing app, and there's an 84 fish activity rating, which is really, really high. Hundreds, obviously the highest it can go. And as an 84 rating, I think that's pretty good. And we're in for a good chance of some fish. So enough farting around. I'm gonna put the camera on my chest. Let's get into the action. Or hopefully get into some action. We'll see. Starting it off with a Pro Lure Live Yabby in the watermelon color. And I'm gonna be <laughs> using the rest of this S Factor. There's not a whole lot left. I don't even know if I'll be able to get any out of the bottle. Oh yeah, we got a little bit. Like I said, the main target's brim today. They've been playing a little bit tricky. So we've come out to a place with lots of rock edges and weed edges. And we're gonna be trying our luck on these winter brim. Now that wind might become an issue pretty quickly if it picks up. It's a westerly, so it's blowing straight in our face. Also fishing with my old man today. He's down there having a flick before he makes his way up here. And we're after a bit of a feed. My cousin wants some fish for her birthday. I'm not a huge, huge fan of keeping fish ever since I've fallen in love with the sport, but obviously if it's for a feed and if someone wants it as a birthday present, bit of an odd present, but we'll make it happen. We'll try to make it happen. Oh, yep. Yep, got him. Good fish. Very good fish. What is that? Is that a tailor? Oh, it's a solid brim. Very, very good brim. That actually didn't take too long either. I felt him sit on it, gave it a couple of taps. I waited for the right time and strike. Winter Brimbo, you've been playing tough. Let's get you up here. I left my net in the car. Yes, that's a solid start. There we go. That was like five, six casts. Tank of a brim. He's pretty small, but he's really fat. Really fat. There's that lure. Pro Lure Live Yabby. Just looks just like a perfect Yabby imitation. We'll get him a quick measure and chuck him straight back on his way. Just gave him a bit of water. He's going mental and he rolled in the dirt. Dude, relax, buddy. Super yellow. That sun's kind of blocking it. There we go. What do you got? 31. I don't know. 32. 32 and a half. Yellow fin brim. He's a small fish, but he's really fat. Super fat. All right, we'll get you back. Well, that's always a good start. We came out here for some brim today. Six or seven casts in, and we got one. Right along this edge, you can't see probably because they've got polarized. Another good thing when you're fishing is to have some polarized sunnies. They really come in handy, but it's super sandy here. As you can see, there's a fallen down tree. There's weed off here. And there's really patchy rocks. That is absolutely prime territory for brim. And the way that I'm working this lure is just letting it sink to the bottom. And once I've waited a couple of seconds for that to drift down to the bottom, I'm just giving it two hops. Or you could even do one hop. It's always good to mix up retrieves. Just hop, hop. Like a yabby hopping up off the bottom and going and sitting back down. Also, let that lure sit on the bottom. Give it time to sit in front of the fish's face and in their strike zone. It's always good when you're fishing soft plastics to have a bit of scent on there, especially when you're brim fishing. They come over, suss that lure out, see what it is, they get a whiff of that scent. And sometimes just having that little bit of scent on your soft plastic can help the fish commit to it. Yep. Oh, bummer. about to face this wind head on but hopefully it should be worth it for this spot this is where i got my pb trevally i put a photo up on instagram a little bit ago but we got lots of other hits it's very much in the wind but if we're getting as much hits and producing good fish like we were last time we should be in for a good good little session here because i'm struggling just a little bit to get onto something since that first fish and that other hit i might chuck on the old trusty Slim swim. I'm gonna go with a one-eighth because that wind's pretty bad just around here. So I can get it out there and I can work it easier off the bottom. 
Actually, you know what? I might go with the bloodworm colour. Yeah, I'm going to go with the bloodworm colour instead of the motor oil. Supernatural, which will blend in really nice with the water clarity for today. I knew moving around the corner more in the wind probably wasn't a good idea, but I really didn't expect the wind to pick up this much. Now with it being a 20 km an hour west wind, we obviously weren't going to stick around for too long and ended up moving location. And well, it was definitely worth the move. What you do is you walk out to this next bit. Actually, you should probably cast it first. Go straight along that flat. Oh, I just got to do Cali at some point. Just curious. Yep. Grabs it on the drop. Oh. This will be a thumping brim. Oh no, thumping brim. I should be able to try and not get snapped on. No. It's not. Put the, get it there. It's a stonker brim though. Oh, get him in. Wow. That is <laughs> Alright, I might have underestimated his size. Moving spots was definitely the goal, although we're still in the wind. You reckon that could be a PB? Didn't really expect to pull a brim this size coming to this spot. That is a huge yellow fin. It's not going to be a PB, but it'll be alright. For a tip measurer, 37 and a half. <laughs> half, half a centimetre off my previous PB. That is a stonker, man. Beautiful fish. Check out that for a big brim. <laughs> 37 and a half. If you're in a tournament, you'd be incredibly happy with that fish. He just smoked that little blood worm, slim swim, right up against that rock edge. I still need to take a fish home from my cousin. But I have to release one this size. It's pretty crazy to think that a brim of this size can be anywhere from 25 to 30 years old. Oh, calm down, dude. Just gave him a bit of a drink, so he's ready to go. Let's get this brute back on his way. Thanks for the fight, mate. Needed you today. Been a bit of a struggle, but off you go, champ. There he goes. Sick stuff. Frothing. Super, super stoked with that. This wind's about to pick up again, but that's that little lure that just did the damage. Here comes the wind, it's a good time. Woo! So after catching that 37 centimeter brim, it's gone dead, dead quiet. We're gonna head up to the corner, up over here, way over there, won't be able to see it, but we're gonna head there, try our luck on a few more brim, and if not, head off home. So let's head over there right now. What'd you catch? <laughs> a glimpse of yourself in the water. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> yes, mate, I am. That's so cool. You recognise me. I'm actually filming a video right now. You want to be in it? Sure. Sure. What's your Instagram? Uh, Kane underscore fishing. There you go. Kane underscore fishing. Yeah, you're a legend, dude. Thank you. Appreciate it. You like the videos? Pardon? You like the videos? Yeah. Do you notice some of the spots where I'm fishing around here? I think we've got an 80 mountain over there. Yep, that bay. Have you fished it? Um, yeah, I'll fish it a bit. But yeah, it's bushy. Get... Yeah, we're going to try that corner. Yeah. Might be in the wind a bit, but... Yeah, get into the room up there. Do you? All right, that's good. That's, that's what I want to hear. Yeah. Cheers for meeting you. Yeah. Give me a knuckles, dude. Legend. You'll be in the next video. Yeah. Catch ya. That's so cool. That makes it all worth it right there. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, that is something chronic. Oh no, that is actually the worst wind on I've ever seen. That is horrendous. Yeah, I'm gonna change rods. That is so, so bad. That's another handy thing about two rods, I guess. Just change it straight over. It's a curly tail or a slim swim? Slim 
slim swim, it's all right. I need to get more money. I've only got like $40 to spend it too much. <laughs> what do you... There we go. Oh. That was big. Did Is he's... that a tailor? No, not even. Just pulled hooks. That was a real. That was a good fish, whatever that was. Yeah. No, feel that. That's not even that loose. That's a 40 that. centimetre brim for sure. That's not even that loose. That's 40 centimetres. Oh yeah. Oh. Yeah, I don't think he felt hooks. Really good hit. Oh, I think he's made my It was I think he's made my lure. Yeah, he's dacked my lure. Man, these fish are playing high. Look at that. Yeah, it's a big brim. Just dacked it. They got to be brim hey. Yeah. They're coming they're hitting it once and they're good like it's not a little hit. Just can't get a hook in it. Last one. Come on. Yep. Yep. Really little. Flatty. Little flatty on the last car special. <laughs> Yep, little flatty, last cast special. Here Kane, do you want to do a favour and hold up my big camera for me? Sure. This will be my first time and probably my last time putting my finger in a flatty's mouth. Last little fish just before we head off home and it happened to be a little flat fella. Today has been a real struggle on the old brim and we'll also take a little flat fella to finish off the day. Let's get him back because he's pretty small and we've got to head off home. Let's get you back, mate. He's, look at his colours. Yeah. Just perfectly camouflages the bottom. All right, there you go. Cheers everyone for watching to the end of another video. Now, I'm well aware throughout this whole video it was super, super windy and I'm annoyed as well because it wrecked a lot of good footage. So I've actually decided to go on eBay and purchase a $10 little foam GoPro cover that should hopefully hopefully block out the wind and it should be good for all future videos also Kane buddy if you're watching this video I really do appreciate you coming up to me saying hi and not being shy you're a legend dude with all that being said like the video if you enjoyed comment down below on what you thought about today's video subscribe if you're new and I'll catch you all in the next one